Alright, so this is part two. I'm um, showing you how to get your Twitter quartz set up for Mix Emergency. Um, in part one, we downloaded it. We uh, got the links from the website. We entered it into Mix Emergency. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, manipulate things in Quartz Composer. There's a couple things you can do. One of the main things is just being able to save the parameters inside the Quartz. Um, so I don't. I'm not going to go into how to download Quartz Composer. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, any of the specifics um, about the patches or anything like that. I'm just going to show you how to manipulate certain things with this specific Quartz. So you'll go into your downloads folder, open up the folder that you downloaded the uh, Quartz with. Again, if you're using widescreen, or if you're using standard, I'm using widescreen. So I'm going to double click here where it says, zoom in there, uh, where it says widescreen. All right, that'll open up my Quartz Composer. Let's change the sizing here. All right, so this is essentially what it's going to look like. Oops. Okay. One of the things I like to do anytime I'm working in Quartz Composer is to add a background. And I've added a background with this Quartz. All you have to do is hit clear, click that once, and then open the patch inspector. All right, and then enable the clear. And you'll notice in the back here, uh, it gives you a background that you can kind of work with. You can see the shadows, you can see uh, username, things like that. You can just see it a little bit better. So I like to do that when I'm messing around in Quartz Composer. Just remember before you save the Quartz to click clear again and to disable it. Because if you don't do that, then it won't have the alpha channel. You won't, if you load it into Mix Emergency, it'll take up the whole screen with that gray background. So you don't want that. So make sure you disable it. All right, so a lot of, a lot of stuff, the, the majority of things that you can do um, are really right here on the on the front page. Just click anywhere that isn't one of these boxes, and you'll over here you'll see um, all of the same parameters that we saw in the Mix Emergency uh, Overlays QC panel box. Um, enable the link address, allow time and hours, enable and disable pictures, and your username, which shows up here. So let's go ahead and enter um, the link from explicit site. That should get it working. Um, if you watch the first one, you know why this is set to 26 hours as opposed to 8 or 12 or something like that. Um, we're going to keep the pictures enabled for now. And I'll put in my username. All right, when I hit enter, you're going to see um, below where the picture is with the little bird right here you're gonna see the switch to my username alright now if your username is a little bit longer I'll show you how you can change that so that it looks normal it's not taking up um, it's not going off the edge here or anything like that that's one of the things that you can manipulate alright so essentially that's it if you have Quartz Composer and this is all you need if everything else works fine for you remember you can enable and disable offensive pictures inside Mix Emergency um, if this is all you need, then I would say uh, just go over and, and export or save or how, whatever you want to do. You can rename it. I would say that's it. If you want to get a little bit deeper into the um, changing things, I'll show you a couple cool things. All right, so right here where it says Twitter Live Feed for Mix Emergency, just about everything that you can manipulate is in here. I'm just going to turn my background back on before we do that. All right, so let me show you what I just did. All right, so double click here where it says Twitter live feed for Mix Emergency. All right, now that's going to bring up uh, pretty much all everything, everything that you want to manipulate. I have some notes in there for real specific things. This one says double click this patch to delete the picture background. That's this over here. If you don't, if you don't want this background with the blue and the black background you can get rid of that your pictures will still pop up they just won't have they won't be sitting on any kind of background so if you just don't like that design or whatever 
All right, so to do that, you double click here where it says uploaded picture. All right. And right here, I don't know, I doubt you can see it, but there's some good notes that shows you exactly how to do that. But I'll show you real quick. Um, what you'll do is you'll disconnect this red here where it says enable. All right. And then just click on this billboard. Open your patch inspector up here. And just disable this button here where it says enable. So that's what it will look like if you disable the background. Pictures will still come up, they'll still scroll properly, everything will still work fine, it just won't have that, that larger background. Um, I also have a I also have a clear version of the entire uh, quartz, which I'll, I'll probably do like a little montage of some, some different versions that I have after this video. But that's another way that you're not taking up as much screen real estate. You can see what's going on behind it if you have a music video playing or something like that. I do have a clear version, which looks really cool. And I can um, customize those for you. Just hit me up on Twitter or on the forum or whatever. All right, so in the meantime, I'm just going to re-enable this because I, like, uh, I like having it there. And connect this back over. All right, so let's go back up. Um, back to this page. Let's see, picture and background, that's fine. Author. Okay, in this box here where it says tweet, there's a couple things that we can change here. We can get rid of the bird over here if we want to. All you have to do is click on this box that says bird logo and disable. We can move the bird. If you want to move them left or right, we use the X position. And you just move them like this left or right. All right. Now, if you want to, let's say your username is too long, too large, um, you have to move it back over a little bit. Or let's say it's smaller than mine, you want to make it larger. Go up to, up to the top here where it says uh, username white, username blue, and you'll see this little thing that says width. This is the easiest way to do it. Click on that little box that says width, and then here where it says operand one, you can change the size of the of the whole thing. So I'll make it bigger, I'll make it smaller. That I think is the best way to do it. You can also mess around with these parameters if you like. But really to me this is the best way. Alright, so I think that's about it. There's there's some good notes in here showing you how to how to change or how to manipulate things. Um, go back to the root macro patch up here on the left. This will take you back to the main screen. And make sure to turn off your clear. That way you have your alpha background. Alright, at this point, I'm going to go to export. I would rename it. Um, I usually rename mine to the username and then t blue Twitter feed or something like that. If you're using it with a hashtag link, I would rename it with a hashtag with the hashtag. So we'll call this one documentary blue feed. I'm gonna save it to my downloads. Alright. Right now I'm gonna open Mix Emergency. Uh, go to my downloads. All right, documentary blue feed. There it is. Now with this, doing it this way, I don't have to open the uh, parameters window. Where is it? Oh. It'll just pop right up, as you can see. I don't have to worry about manipulating or changing the parameters. Or anything like that, because it's already saved inside Mix, uh, inside Quartz Composer. 
so it's already saved inside the quartz. At this point, I can just click on an empty box in the presets, save it there, and now I can switch out with all my all my other quartzes that I have saved. My lower thirds, my Quizzo quartz, my hashtag, my Cosmo Saturday quartz, and then I have my uh, username quartz. That's about it. I, I think this is the best way to do it if you have um, Quartz Composer downloaded. I don't know if it's worth going to the developer site and learning the program. If you don't already have it downloaded, you can always do all of these things inside of Mix Emergency. But I just want to make this video to show you guys how you can make the changes permanent and save everything inside the Quartz so you don't have to um, reload the link every time you load it up. All right, hit me up with questions. I feel like I probably didn't cover everything. There's going to be some new quartzes coming out on the site. Hit me up for um, customizing. Like I said, I can do vi I can do logos. I can do make the birds spin around or fly around or whatever you want. Um, I can do your logo inside of the the billboard. I can do your club's logo. Whatever. Hit me up.